More graphic details released in the Lori Vallow murder trial. The so-called doomsday mom. She once lived in Arizona, now accused of murdering her two young kids in Idaho. We're on day 16 of this trial, and the jury today learned how Vallow's seven-year-old son was killed. Fox 10 investigator Justin Lum joins us live tonight with the latest. And we want to warn you again how graphic these details are. We are learning not only more about the death of J.J. Vallow, but also his big sister, Tylee Ryan. Now, Dr. Garth Warren, who did the autopsies for the children, took the stand today. Warren is the Ada County Coroner and Chief Forensic Pathologist. He told the court that J.J. died of asphyxiation by a white plastic bag placed over his head and duct tape over his mouth. Warren determined J.J. was smothered and found signs of struggle. Now, here's the last verified photo of J.J. taken on September 22nd, 2019, recovered from Lori Vallow's iCloud account. By June of 2020, investigators found the remains of J.J. and Tylee in the backyard of Vallow's husband, Chad Daybell. J.J. was found in the same red pajamas with his arms and ankles bound with duct tape. As for Tylee Ryan, it was a homicide, according to Dr. Warren, but there's no specific cause of death. Her remains were burned, basically torn apart to pieces and buried in the ground. Warren said these are clearly suspicious circumstances, saying Tylee's organs were severely decomposed and her bones were charred. Take a listen to the coroner talking about the causes of death, first for JJ and then Tylee. I determined the cause of death to be asphyxia by a plastic bag over the head. <laughs> and duct tape covering the mouth. And then there's another segment that's other significant conditions. Um, I put bound with duct tape, bruising of the arms, and abrasion to the neck. The cause of death was by homicide, but I just can't pinpoint exactly what that was. Most homicides, you can say something like, gunshot wound to the head when the body's intact or a stab wound to the heart. Um, I can't do that in this case. Again, those were the findings for both JJ and Tylee. The current witness on the stand when testimony continues tomorrow is a forensic pathologist with the FBI. She did a CT scan on Tylee's skeletal remains saying there was blunt trauma, sharp trauma and high velocity trauma to her bones. Live in the control room, Justin Lum, Fox 10 News.